<laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Plick. I'm Jerome. And I'm Nick. And today we're talking about the True Detective Season 3 finale, Now I'm Found. What a finale that was, right? Yeah, that's one way to put it. <laughs> so on a scale of 1 to 10, how disappointed were you? Uh, let's see. So, uh, see, here's the thing. Mm-hmm. One through seven were great. Yeah, one th- one through seven were really good. This episode wasn't bad. But yeah, but the only th- the only problem with that one through seven were really good. But they teased us with yeah. a lot of stuff that oh, this might happen. This might happen. This might happen. And and I didn't and, really and, believe and, and, and a lot this, of it was gonna this, happen. This last episode kind of made one through seven. Not pointless, but some of the things in there are pointless. A few things makes you wonder. Yeah, and I, like I think this would have been a really good season if they didn't try to make us speculate on things. I know that's what they wanted. Yeah. But I think this would have been a really, really good season if. But it, no, I was. We weren't like, oh, it's connected to season one and all, blah, 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 blah. Because then they could have focused on the story they wanted to instead of just like, dick teasing us. I was, I was pretty disappointed. I was disappointed. It, it wasn't. It's not. It's not like it was bad. I still like the story. I yeah, still Mahersha Ali and what's the guy? Is it Stephen Dorff? Yeah, they were great in it. I, I Stephen Dorff, especially like the way he started the fight with those bikers and then just was and like then fell in love drunk. with that dog and all that. That was like sad. And yeah, I, I like his character. I liked him a lot. I think this will help his career a lot. Um, I, I I think they definitely should win awards for this for sure. Yeah, Mar- <laughs> it's, I mean it's pretty funny you have your season finale and you're winning an Oscar in the same. Yeah. Way. So he's, he's having a pretty good night. He's probably gonna win an Emmy for this, and then he, he has he, two. He Oscars. definitely should. Um, but on the other hand, like I didn't really like. I was hoping it was connected to season one. Yeah. Um, but I, I didn't really believe it. Like I was hoping. Yeah. And then on the previous song, the, the sh- previous song for this episode, they show they show the fucking scene with Eliza. Go, oh, look, it's, it's Woody Harrelson and Matthew McConaughey, and we're me and you were like. Oh, they wouldn't put that in the previous one for nothing. Like, for instance, we're rewatching Game of Thrones to a week, doing podcasts about it. Check yeah. it out. Um, <laughs> but, you know, they'll, like, show something from season one. And they, they, for a reason. They're like, hey, you better remember Benjen because he's coming back now. And it's for the people that don't pay attention. So yeah. they show us, oh, they're putting that in there for a reason. And then you're like, oh, maybe it is connected. And no. then an hour and 20 minutes later, I was oh. like, oh. What? The fact that Eliza wasn't even in the last episode really made me wonder. Yeah, that was that was one big thing that stood out to me as I was like, well, what was the point of having her other than ha- other than connecting us to the 2015 him? Mm-hmm. What was the point of her even being and there? See, and the problem, the only reason I'm disappointed is because my expectations were so goddamn high. That's true. Yeah, you know, so like it's seven, it's seven episodes. Like we're almost treating like Westworld. Like, oh, who did this and who did what? And maybe this guy. No, it was just a story about them being in love and this case. Uh, yeah, and how the case affected their lives. It affected all the lives around them and it actually had a happy ending. And that was kind of annoying. So uh, the, a lot of people are wondering, what, like, what do you think that last scene meant with him in the jungle and all that? I mean, after all this, I'm not sure it meant anything, to be honest. <clears throat> yeah, I, don't, I, 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 I thought I, it was very, a, a weird choice to have that there at the end. Um, I just think it gives people something to speculate about, but I, I honestly just think it's like a memory of Wayne. That just Wayne another had. another one of his memories. Yeah, I mean, fucking, there was fourteen timelines. That's just. I, I really thought I was like, okay, this can be nothing, and then the second the camera goes through his eye, which was a really cool shot. Yeah, goes right through. There's a lot of those this episode, like when they kept switching between all the different timelines in the car. That was really cool. Um, but I was like, oh, we're gonna get some. Oh no, they're at a bar. Oh, they're together. Oh, he's in Nam. The show's over. Okay. Like I thought, because like he sees the kids and he ha- he all of a sudden remembered. I was like, oh fuck! Never mind, nothing happens. It was anticlimactic. Yeah, a little bit. And the, but like like even I said this out loud when he goes and talks to Julie because he solved the case because his ghost wife talked to him into solving the case. Which I was like, where was that bitch when he forgot in the car where he was at? Can she pop back up there and be like, no, you're here because of this? Because she told him the whole case anyways. He seems to have ghosts when he's in that room. Yeah. Um. But he goes and talks to Julie, and then the second he gets her forget, I was like, "God damn, the show is so frustrating." Uh, but like, but I think but it's, it's also it's also maybe it feel like he remembered when he was drinking. I think water. he I think he did remember there, and then that, d- decided like maybe I won't. Julie number 
wait, what was the mom's mom was the, Julie? The mom's Julie, the kid was. So um, Julie number two reminded him of Julie. Of yeah, and then I think he was like, oh, I don't want to ruin their lives. Because I was wondering, I was like, well, what was what was his point going to be of going there? Just be like, gotcha. Yeah, I don't know. I think he even thought that when he pulled the keys out of the car. He's like, okay, I'm here. Now I got to go. I don't know. I think he just wanted to prove to himself that that, that, like that, he, that, was that, that was her and that yeah. he solved it. I could see that being it. Yeah. Um, so let's. Th- what did you think of the actual case? Like they solved the case. What did you think of the story of what really happened to Julie? Um, I mean, basically, her her mom was a piece of shit. Yeah, everybody was right from the get go, which I was pretty surprised yeah. about. A lot of people were like said like her mom sold her, which mom was gonna, and then some bad shit happened, and then she got money for it anyways. Yeah, her mom sold her, and then wanted more money for her, and then. Knew that they killed their son, basically. Yeah. Doesn't didn't know how, didn't know what happened. But just knew but an accident happened and the son died there. And took money instead. Um Dad got really fucked in the whole situation. Yeah. Dad dad <laughs> yeah, dad totally got fucked. And then she got killed for being greedy. Yeah. And probably guilty. Um, cause I'm sure that was a hard thing to take you know, I'm sure that she had some sobering moments. Ask for more money, they kill her and mm-hmm. then then the guy that kills her gets killed, and a lot of nonsense happened for no reason. Yeah. I just wanted more out of this last episode. Yeah, I did, too. Because there's so many... Like, we even said last week, I was like, well, I don't think this is going to happen, because I don't think they could solve that in just one episode, and this and that and that. And they didn't really, like, solve much in what? it, other than telling us, like, what happened in the case. Yeah. It like, was, like we don't know how Eliza had all her information. She had more information than anybody did, really. Apparently, she just put it all together like we did. I guess, yeah. In the, like, yeah. Like, it was just... It was, uh, she probably read the wife's book and figured it out. <laughs> yeah. Maybe she actually read it. Yeah. No, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't want to shit on the show because it was... Yeah, it, it was, was really good. And then, the, just for what they teased us with, the ending wasn't as great. Yeah. And, I mean, and we even had people commenting, oh, the show's not about who did it. It's about... Who, well, it's called True Detective. Yeah, that's, I told you that at the gym. So I'm watching a, like, detective drama show. Yeah. So I'm not watching a show about their lives. Yeah, so, and, like, I mean... the love story. Which, which was fine. It's fine, and it's good, and we, and, and we like that. And, like, everybody was wrong about the wife. Yeah, 100%. Um, Nothing came of that. She's just a weirdo that (laughs) likes to pretend to be other people out of town. Yeah, and then, and the dude with the one eye, I was actually, like, felt bad for him. Yeah, I did too. And then it it was funny too. So after all that, they solved the case. They have that weird conversation, like, wow, this doesn't feel like we've solved the case. And I was like, like, because there's there's 30 minutes left in the show. You guys are going to uncover some fucking cult and we're going to get into it. And then. They on the way out of the place you get a flash. They run into the gar- the guy we talked about last week, the landscaper who was yeah. the little boy earlier. And me and you were like, "Oh, it's the same as season one." They ran into that guy, and then it was just, "Oh, that's her husband," and he just wanted to be with her. So it, it I think it, it probably is just disappointing because we watched the show like wanting it to be yeah a devastating ending, but then also they solve a case and all this stuff, and it was just like, "Oh no, he found out and she's happy. She got out of the people and then he married his wife and he's with his family and friends and all that and happily ever after basically yeah except his son was cheating on his wife and never told her so yeah. he's kind of a dickhead and what do you think he's gonna do with that he saw the note and realized oh fuck that's the address that I picked him up at he had a purpose to go there you know what do you think he's just like like we saw him put it away but really he's just like crumpled it up and threw it away or do you think nothing comes to that I mean nothing's ever gonna cause they're not gonna continue I have a hard on. time caring that's because we watched an after show from the ringer they do it right after and they're theorizing like does this mean that this mean that and the whole time i was sitting there thinking we're never going to get an answer so does any of this even fucking matter it doesn't really matter that's my when we do shows following a show and then we get to the end i'm like is there even a point to doing a last episode review because nothing matters after that no and that's why we just came (laughs) into bitch about it yeah i just think it would have been like if they could just even the smallest connection they didn't have to make they don't have to make a season four they just like, oh yeah, look, it's the same as this, and bam, and then something, bam, and then oh, it could be with this, and then everyone be like, oh my god, if they do a season four, it's gonna be the best thing ever. Yeah. And instead, they have people bitching that they went out a different way, and it's just, I don't know. Yeah, it d- it's very mixed and Some people loved it, and and I think yeah. it's the people that probably are unlike us. They don't watch videos on the show, and they don't do videos on right. it, so they just watch the show, and they're like, oh, that's good. And yeah. then there's people like us that really get into it and theorize on it and all that, and then we were the ones disappointed because we put our expectations so high. Yeah, and 
that's why I like the show is because we could theorize and we could yeah. try to figure stuff out. That, that's what I love about Westworld. Yeah. When it gets on. And like, I like a show like this that we can just get into and like you just theorize on. Even crazy ones. Like in the beginning, people thought like maybe Wayne's involved and stuff like that. Yeah. Like it's just fun doing that. But yeah, overall, I think, I mean, 100% was better than season two, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Um, I bet you I, even if we, it, we would even like it more if we knew the ending first because we would. Because then we wouldn't look forward and we just watch it and we just think that was an entertaining yeah. thing. Yeah, I, I agree with that. We'd enjoy the performances and we'd enjoy it. But the thing is, is we're not the ones that put the, the conspiracies in there. We, we found them. Yeah, they, they definitely teased us. And I think that that's a fault of the show. Yeah, I mean, we didn't we didn't put Woody Harrelson and Matthew McConaughey in, yeah, I think it, if in the, the show and in the next on or in the previous season. If, if Eliza never brought up the cult stuff and connecting to all that and brought up that picture... I think I would have been a little happier at the ending because I wouldn't have been expecting some bigger thing. Because the fact that she's like, hey, did you think this happened? And he was like, no. But everything she said prior to that, he was like, no. But like he really did think that, and we knew that. Yeah. So then it made you think, oh, there has to be a conspiracy. So if they, if that one scene wouldn't have happened, I think I would have been a little, yeah. had less expectations for the finale. Probably. Uh, any, any last things you want to say about this show? No, and it just comes across like we're mad, but like I no, still I, like when we said we we enjoyed all seven episodes. I even enjoyed most of this episode, uh, but just the the last little bit was disappointing. Yeah. I re- the one thing I do really like about this season is they did really well at, at the editing and the way they transitioned tw- timelines and stuff like that. Yeah. It was really cool. I really really enjoyed that this season. I wonder if anyone was confused. Uh, I don't know. People get confused with so many weird things like yeah. that. I get it. Surprises they did, they me every did it, time. They did it so well. Like literally, like everyone's hair is different. And yeah, like clothes are different, and people are just different. And it's not hard to I c- follow. I can but see I can Hess see getting very confused. Yeah, I can but see he it. also is he's kind of a weirdo. Yeah. Um. But all right, that's it for our True Detective review of season three. If you didn't watch any other videos, I guess you can check them out. But it's kind of weird now. You watch the whole show. Um. Go check out. We have vlogs in this channel, gaming videos. If you like Apex Legends, we've been playing that a lot. We suck at it, but the videos are fun. And yeah, we'll see you guys uh, next time for a new show. I feel weird.